So Dana, it was a two on win today over Camelford. Not quite as, uh, as straightforward as it could have been after the first half where they went 2-0 up. How do you think of that, that game went over the course? Well, um, we're never going to get it all our own way. Um, you know, we can't, we're not going to keep up the pace we've had where, we're, where we get it all our own way for 90 minutes. So um, sooner or later, we were going to have to dig deep and, and, and find something else to get the points. And I think that's what we've done in the second half. Camelford um, got their tails up. They were, they were given a penalty. Um, didn't really look like a penalty, but you know it may be one of them where some refs give it and some don't. Um, Got two and, penalties in the end, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, and, and fortunately for us, they missed the second one. But um, it was certainly one of those nights where we had to grind it out and um, just said to the players in there that you know hopefully later on in the season we'll look back at this three points and, and they'll be massive for us. Mm. So yeah, it was good to get the points in the end. He'll do say that the teams that pull out results, even if they aren't at their best on a particular game, yeah. are the ones that go on to do well throughout the season. Is that a sign of the, the resilience of the team? How they can pull out a result even if they aren't perhaps at their best? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, I mean, like I said, we're, we're never going never gonna to be able to steamroll teams for 38 games. Um, so, um, yeah, I guess it's a good sign if, if we're, we can grind a result out. We have identified in the past... Um, when we're looking back at seasons where we've dropped silly points, and there's no two ways about it, if we had dropped points here tonight, they would have been categorised as silly points uh, dropped. So, um, you know, it, it, it was good. It was good that we saw the game out and got the three points, but we'll certainly be looking for a better performance. Uh, one, of the things, forward, yeah. one of the things I'd like to know, for, for a fan watching a game like that, it is incredibly tense. Yeah. As part of the management team, is it much different? Is it still like you're a fan, like you're watching and you're, you've got um, that feeling of... <laughs> yeah, it can be because you're not in really when it gets to like that last 10 minutes there, you're, you're not really in any kind of control, I guess. Uh, and, and it's down to the players then to use their experience and their game management to, to see the game out. Um, yeah, I guess it can be quite tense, um, but you're kind of just so in fraud with the game, it, it just passes you by, really. So, next yeah. game is away to Nuki. Yeah, another tough game. It's always a tough place to go, especially if the wind's blowing. Uh, it's, a, it's a massive pitch down there. Um, dugouts feel a million miles away from the from the far end as well. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a tough place to go. And if we can get three points there, we would have had a very, very good week getting the six points out of the two games we've had. Yeah. Well, the good form continues. Let's hope it carries yeah. on again. Let's keep it going, eh? <laughs> Cheers, Dane. Thank Cheers, you. Mate.